Hello fellow traders, tis I the Rumpled One, coming to you Sunday, October the 1st, the year is 2023, let's talk trading, weekly open and gap, and the monthly open. These videos are for educational purposes only, your results may differ from mine. We're starting the month off, let's start the month off right. Let's not lose any more on any one particular trade than we're willing to lose. So we're going to have our stop loss in place and we're going to have our position size sized accordingly. Okay, so we've got the monthly open. And right now we're 11 pips above it and it looks like we haven't gone below it. And we're uh, 14 pips off of the monthly high. Looking at the week, we gapped down, but we filled the gap. And we've got a, a, a few gaps that haven't filled. So any of you trading the uh, weekly open gap fill, you still have uh, an opportunity to take advantage of some of those gap trades. We're putting in the uh, opening range for the week right here and the opening range for the month. And once again, speaking of the monthly, we are 101 pips above the yearly open, 389 off the yearly low, and 951 off the yearly high. And you can see we looks like we're just about leaving the uh, lower wick zone of the previous month. For the day... We only have a few inside bars. Same for the week. For the month, looks like we have a, a bunch of monthly inside bars we can trade for those inside bar traders. And on the pound, we're about 209 pips below the uh, monthly inside bar that happened eight months ago. And just a note, um, Looking at the seasonality uh, indicator, it says after October, our averages diverge with the short term. So less, so the tendencies are less concise and less reliable. So in other words, all bets are off. <laughs> You're on your own when it comes to seasonality. I guess this last quarter can... Uh, it, I guess it can be pretty hectic. Okay, so far we're only just about four and a half hours into the trading day. No pairs have uh, reached 100 pips in range. So we've got the uh, buy zone here. And as you can see, we're still above that weekly open, daily open, monthly open. but there's really not much action at the moment. Of course, range is too low for the rat zone. Let's see, Bambino Flex is saying to go short. Pivot trading plan, near the pivot point, go short. Near R1, go short. Near S1, the bias is long. And we are below the pivot point at 22... One six on the daily on the weekly we've taken out the weekly pivot already we're below last week's pivot and the previous week's pivot and for the monthly we're below it monthly pivot at 1.2340 oh and just for funsies we got some H4 pivots that haven't been hit. We've got this one down here at 21.54 and one at 22, call it 15. So we'll see if uh, what happens with those weak, uh, those H4 pivots that haven't been hit. And you can see we've got a bunch this year. Okay, we actually popped out at a lower uh, daily wick zone from the previous uh, session, Friday's 
candle you can see then we went into the upper wick zone and out so as you can see there wasn't much of a body on that candle looking at the stats on the smart ranges right now only 25 pips so we haven't done any breaks and then getting into actually looking at the trades here you know once again candle color at the line we have an outside bar here on m30 it hasn't broken the high or the low so we'll have to wait and see what happens and once again we really haven't had much action except for after that first hour because these are 30 minute bars uh, looking at the highest low lowest high once again these trades happen over and over and over again um, sometimes you have to be quick to take your pips before the market takes it back and this week we'll probably continue with some trading uh, stories that we tell ourselves that was kind of fun talking about those um, and I and it's something that uh, I realized one of the things that I do when I'm trading and it's I'm glad we did that series because what I have to do is quit telling myself different stories so in other words if I'm trading one method then I shouldn't be looking at other methods and saying oh well let me take that method now because what that does is a lot of times it'll wind up working against me so it's one of those things where if I start to hear myself telling myself a uh, another story then uh, it's like nope that's that's not the story I'm looking for it's not the story when I'm reading the chart that's not the, the the story I want to be reading it's like that's for another chapter I was uh, telling Walmart I had an idea where I'd write down on a uh, on pieces of paper you know I say okay this method you know write that on a paper then another method like rat zone buy zone wick zone uh, you know high low flip-flop boxes indicator two, and then just put it in a jar shake it up and pull out one slip of paper and whatever that method says that's the method I trade that day I thought what it could do is really teach discipline can I stick to it Walmart didn't think it was that great of an idea so why don't uh, traders tell me what you think I'd be curious to hear uh, another voice on that so we're in October and we haven't pushed the year-to-date accumulated range um, any bets on whether or not will we'll, this number will change before the end of the year uh, looking at last year no year before year before that let's see back in 2017 no back in 2016 no 2015 no so yeah there's a bunch here so it looks like it might be a coin flip if it's going to trade if it's going to change or not let me know what you think uh, are we going to push the range one way or the other or are we going to stay within the range so far uh, looking at the daily chart here fade the pivot by um, let's see let's pull out to the weekly price inside the lower wick zone so look price doesn't like staying in the wick zones um, buyers strong control at the moment and on the monthly fade to pivot by inside the lower wick zone so maybe we do want to buy we'll have to figure that one out so fellow traders um that's it for the uh, weekly open and gap and the monthly open um, 
So thanks again for watching. I hope everybody had a fun and safe weekend. And when you come back to trading, always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumpled One, over and out.